In this video, I'm going to solve a problem on simple strain which involves change in temperature. Here is the problem. Determine the compressive force in the bars shown after a temperature rise of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. And let there be determine the corresponding change in length of the bronze bar. Now, the initial condition is uh, <clears throat> there's a gap of 0 0.02 inches no? between the wall and the bronze bar. So, first, if there's a change in temperature, first is you allow, you allow the assembly to expand or contract but since the condition here is temperature rise then allow this one to expand it so if you apply or if you determine the change in or the deformation due to change in temperature may elongate them expand eh? and must stress me up to this point maybe okay so let's start So, pag apply sa increase in temperature, mas stretch ne up to this point. So, from the initial in this initial position sa bronze bar here, maabot sa dere, no? So, the increase in length is delta T or deformation due to change in temperature. And the value of this is the total uh, deformation sub bronze and aluminum and we can solve for delta t no? so total size and uh, the formula of delta t is alpha l alpha times l times delta t so sums uh, bronze and aluminum given all the values um coefficient of thermal expansion for each uh, bar and then length as well as the change in temperature. So substitute all values and then compute. Our delta T is equal to 0 0.072036 inches. No? Uh, considering all the units like for alpha, it's per degrees Fahrenheit. Ma cancel sa delta T which is in Fahrenheit. So the unit of L will be used sa final na value. So, inches man, 14 inches. So, ang unit sa delta T will be in inches. So, after this is, we put an, we apply an imaginary compressive force para ibalik ang bar assembly sa support. No? So, Apply an imaginary compressive force P para i-compress ni to return to this one. Para ma-attach ang Baron's bar sa support. This one, ma-attach. Yeah. So, the total shortening is this one. Delta A or delta. This delta is due to actual force. Uh, the formula is PL over AA. And the value of this is the total shortening of bronze and aluminum. So, but this value is equal to delta T minus 0 0.02. From the diagram, delta is delta T minus 0 0.02. So if we substitute delta T here and Delta is equal to 0 0.052036 0, inches. And ang value of delta, again, is ang total shortening sa bronze and aluminum. Okay. So, solving for P, we have this one. Uh, total sa shortening sa bronze and Aluminum. So, 
be consistent with the units. A unit sa delta is inches. So, um, ang unit sa P and A must cancel with the unit of P. No? So, P should be in newton, um, pounds, our area in square inches, and our E is in PSI. Para pounds per square inch, pounds per square inch, makansel lang. And since ang unit na to sa delta is inches, length must also be in inches. So we have the values. P unknown, length of bronze 14 inches, area of bronze 2.4, modulus of elasticity 15 times 10 raised to 6. And so with aluminum. 18 inches ang length, 2.8 ang area. Modulus of elasticity, 10.6. And solving for P, using your calculator, we have P equal to 52,278.68 pounds. So that, that is, this is the answer of letter A, the compressive force in the bars. Now, for letter B, determine the corresponding change in length of the bronze bar. So, the change in length of aluminum and bronze must total 2.02. Since ang initial position sa assembly is very long. And then, ang final position is nasa wall. So, ang duha ka bars, must stretch here yeah, by a total of 0 0.02. So, how much is the elongation of the bronze bar? Now, for bronze and for aluminum, ang total change in length is the difference between thermal deformation and axial deformation for each member. So, thermal deformation minus axial deformation of bronze plus thermal minus axial deformation of aluminum, the total uh, there is 0 0.02. For what is asked is only the change in length of the bronze bar. So we will just subtract the thermal change or the deformation due to temperatures of bronze minus the axial deformation of bronze. Okay. We have this, this expression. Uh, okay. Thermal sa bronze minus axial sa bronze. Thermal deformation and axial deformation. So, alpha sa bronze, 12 times 10 raised to negative 6. Length, change in temperature minus P, this one. Times length, times area, times E. The answer is 0 0.00991 inches. And again, if you will do the same for aluminum, you will get a value. Uh, if the value will be added to this one, the total would be 0 0.02. Uh, that will be your checking to check if. Uh, your analysis is correct. Okay. So, that's it. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.